guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, Karibu Sana. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to cook spicy coconut rice, sauteed spinach, and beef stew. If you can see, I am in my pigeons because <laughs> I'm cooking this meal, I think, at around 10 11 pm. But without further ado, let's get into the video. I found a picture we took many years ago. So I have tomato paste here, coconut milk, spinach over here, beef, potatoes that have been cut into one inch cubes. I have peas, carrots. This is like half an half an inch, and then these are onions, tomato puree, garlic, rice. The spices that I'm going to use, I'm going to show them later on. When I said to you, we would never grow old. Messages I've saved that I never send, cause I don't know. I'm using these spices, this is cinnamon sticks, uh, cardamom pods, and some cumin. This is to just flavor the rice. I'm making coconut rice. So I'm also going to put some coconut oil. I'm also going to put some salt. So when you're cooking rice, always over salt the water because some of the salt is going to be absorbed by the rice. And then I'm using the super extra long basmati rice. I have soaked it for 15 minutes. For you, but I used to back then. I remember that I was drunk out my mind when we kissed for the first So before we do the beef stew, I'm using this small pot to cook spinach because as you know spinach shrinks. Since I'm also going to need some cooking oil this side, let me just put it. We'll get to this later. So let me fry some of the onions from here. So as that is frying, we can start on this so that I just cook everything at once. So I lifted uh, this pan from somewhere. And then this one was a gift from my mother-in-law. So this is the gift, my thrifted pan. And then this is the set that I bought. I'm just going to start with this. So once these onions have cooked, I'm just going to put the spinach. So reduce the heat and just cover that up. And on this side, the start of browning. So I'm just going to put some garlic. The spices that I'm 
spices I'm using are curry powder, paprika, and cumin powder for the stew. So if you want your spices to really punch, put them when you put the oil and not when you uh, put the stew, if it makes sense. So. This way, even the oil is a bit flavored. This time. So I'm going to let the tomatoes cook for a bit. Let's check on the spinach. For this, I'm only adding this uh, North Cube. It's a big cube. Since this is not non stick, I can use a spoon. to put some salt and that is it just a bit because the cube is also salted and the spinach is done about two minutes this is good so I'm just going to add the carrots the minji the potatoes the beef and bring everything to you a boil after I add some water. Found yourself away out of this small town. So I'm just adding this enough to cover everything so that they can all cook together. I don't put a lot of soup so that the stew is not runny i want a very thick uh, gravy so i'm just going to cover that up so i'm adding this coconut milk at the end as the last water so that the flavor can really come out so once everything has dried down that's when i'm going to cover it in low heat and let the rice cook got a place at school you didn't hang around every day you're far away this rice in the lowest heat which is this one don't feel the same So once the potatoes are done, I'll know that everything is done. Almost in, in about five minutes, we'll be done. So as we wait for them to be done, I'm just going to make the paste solution. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of tomato paste and then I'll just mix it with a bit of water and this is just to thicken the stew but you can either use cornstarch um, wheat flour or what is it called 
something I can't remember, like cornstarch and butter. You can use wheat flour. You can use, you can either blend some of the potatoes and the vegetables so that you make like a thick gravy and not add anything else. But for me, I like tomato paste. And that's what I'm using. When we kiss for the first time in the back of your car, we passed out coming stars. Promise all these years we pack our things and disappear. So to flavor the gravy, I'm just adding these uh, again, no beef chili cube for extra flavor. I'm going to make sure it's totally dissolved. So you just break it down. going to cover this in low heat for about five minutes and then everything will be done so the rice is done now I'm just going to fluff it up it is very one one <laughs> it is very fragrant or fragrant <laughs> down here there is barely any water plus None of it stuck to the pot and that is the advantage of non-stick pots yeah so the rice is ready now the stew i think even this should be ready now i'm just going to add some dania and we are done. everything turned out just going to mix everything up piece of meat piece of carrot some spinach and some rice i hope it's all going to eat i have outdone myself I don't think I have ever created such a delicious hearty meal. The rice. Mm. And then it's all. Yo mchale wote ni moja moja. Kama wafungua kwa meat kwa shukala ndoba. You should definitely try this recipe out. Shine to your family members. Shine to your friends, to your chama, trust you me, they will love it.
thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please remember to like comment down below what you think about it and please subscribe to my channel we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 and i'll be really glad if you came on board to help me out thank you so much for watching guys until next time bye and if i lost my mind would you come around i will keep you safe and sound after all this time